Chapter 17. The storm. Eleven fifty four, eleven years later. It had been three years. Three years of drought. Three years of hunger and poverty. England was brought to its knees. Only our walls had kept us safe from the bands of outlaws raiding towns and villages. Bishop Waleran and William Hamley forced the workers to finish their cathedral in Shiring. Many had died. The work on our own cathedral had almost come to a halt. It's looking pretty good, though. Four weeks the storm had raged on. It was then that our cathedral gave up its last secret. And everything changed. It was storing guns. Tom. I don't think you would have liked the sight of this. I don't think you would have liked the sight of this at all. Hmm. I know you did not plan the cathedral to be that high. But I reinforced the walls, like in Saint Denis. The storm shouldn't be that much of a problem. But if it's not the storm, then what is it? The east wall is about to collapse. Why? What could be the cause? Hammer and chisel. Let's pick it up. No telling how long it will hold. It doesn't look that bad from up here. Huge cracks all the way down. Small crack. Vaulting unstable? Is this damaging the wall? They look alright. North and south walls provide enough stability. Thank God. Been weeks now. The noise and sand never stop. Hope Eliana is all right. Ah, if I make it worse, then we'll at least know what the problem is. All right. One more time. If the vaulting were unstable, this part would have collapsed and the wall would retract. The cause of the problem is not up here. Okay. Tom. What would you have done now? <sighs> when we erected the eastern wall 17 years ago, there was also a crack. Yes. No matter what we did, it always came back. This is not the same wall. We rebuilt it. But the, the foundation cause could have been the same in both cases. On the ground, maybe? Uh, ground is the same. But it had never been that dry. We had no problems with the rest of the walls. Uh, 
Probably the crypt, then. The crypt! Huh? There's Tom. You kept the whole foundation there as it was. But it never had to carry this much weight before. That's it! The problem must be down there! Let's go check the crypt. They were enraged. Bishop Henry thinks that the Pope should hear about what you wrote. I think so, too. I would be honored if he read my book. Philip, I really am worried about you. There is no need for you to worry, Jonathan. It is just... a book. The problem is that the people love your sermons. And what you wrote. Even though most of them can't read. Your book is being copied in priories all over England. Is that not a good thing, if our message gives people hope? Oh well, yeah. In desperate times, hope can be a powerful force. That is very true. Well, I fear the bishops. They might come to believe you took that power from them. Huh. Do you? Philip's second book, The Divine Soul. The Divine Soul, book written by Philip in 1148. In his text, Philip suggests that we are all we all carry a godly spark within us because God created man. And while sometimes it may seem as if God has abandoned us, God is indeed always closer to us than anything else. <clears throat> because our soul is of a divine nature. This means that man could does not have to wait for salvation from the outside but that we can all change the world around us ourselves. We could plant a seed and God in turn will make it grow. Philip's message of hope is heard in all of England and even other parts of Europe, but the church is highly critical of the text. In his first book, Philip had only criticized fake miracles. Now he seems to claim that, as all men are equally divine, the members of the clergy are not closer to God's glory than any other man. People love his sermons. His book was written from the heart. He found his truth. Jonathan will be sub-prior soon. Still doesn't know who his father is. Jack! Hey, John. Have you been atop the cathedral during the storm? Well, Don't duh. worry, Philip. The storm isn't as bad up there. You shouldn't be up there risking your life. You should be with your children. Sally and Tommy have been asking for their parents all morning. Eliana and Jack's family. Jack and Eliana's family, 1154. After the promise to Whaler and to keep Kingsbridge protected, Richard and Jack have spent much time fortifying the town. Since then, William Hanley has not dared to attack the town again. Eliana, who has continued her wool business, trades mostly outside of Shari. Most of the fleece she's trading is produced in Kingsbridge, where Jack erected two felting mills. Eliana and Jack have two children now. Tommy is almost already 12 years old. His little sister, Sally, is nine. Martha looks after both of them while Jack and Eliana are working. Some believe that Martha and Richard are in love. But if that's true, they are keeping their secret well guarded. The storm is tearing our east wall apart. If the storm works, I work. Jonathan, did you and the others come directly from Winchester? Yes, we did. What about Aliena? She stayed a day longer for the fleece fair. She should be on her way back now. In this storm? We didn't expect it to get worse. You better not game. No one. I'll did. be very mad. I am sure she'll be all right. I need to go. I think I know why the east wall is unstable. Yes. Why is that? I'm not sure, but I I think the answer lies down in the crypt. I should hurry before it's too late. Okay, the crypt is located over here. Cemetery, the chapter house. 
I'm gonna go to no. this. Oh, not before it's not I find me. out. We'll go into the cathedral. And to the crypt. Tom said a cathedral's never finished. Now I get what he meant. The statue Rashid gave me would draw in as many people as Adolphus did. If it weren't for the drought and the storm. Rashid was right. People love to believe in miracles. The reason most people come to Kingsbridge now is for Philip's sermons. He tells them what they need to hear. He gives them hope. There you are. What are you doing all the way down here? Tell me. Let's go check the crack. Hmm. That definitely wasn't here before. The cause of the instability must be down here. Well, let's bury ourselves. No. Nope. She's seen enough hardship. Okay. I might carve a likeness in stone someday, but not today. Okay. I guess we're hitting the crack. Here we go! You're gonna make the whole thing collapse on yourself, dude. Don't be stupid. These stones, they, they've been removed before. Whoever put them back just added some mortar on top of the stones. To hide the fact that they were removed. The tile at the bottom was completely loose. What does that mean? Sabotage. I think it was an entrance. Oh. An entrance? To where? That's what we'll find out. Careful now. You've got the whole east wall on top of you. Um, Jack? Jack? Well, you ran into a wall. I'm all right. I just hit my head. It's dark in here. There's a whole room here. A, a chamber. I'll get a torch. Philip, I'll get it. You stay here. A wooden drinking cup. At least that's what I think it is. Grab the cup. That's not wood. It's metal. Gold, even. Ah. Oh. Encrusted with stones. A treasure. Maybe Philip knows what this is. What's that? Looks like a brush. It's... It's made of leather. It's... Oh, it's a whip. What is that doing here? What's a whip doing here? It's long. Almost like a coffin. Uh, is, is that a, a coffin? Oh, there's sand everywhere. Uh huh. It's a, a bed. What? Oh, there there's was some a kinky stuff here. going on in here. What? Jonathan, we need that torch. I had the torch. All right, come in here. Should be safe. Did you know about this place? No. No, I did not. What I've seen it? this chalice before, when I was very young. It's the chalice of the Eucharist from Kingsbridge Cathedral. The chalice they say my father stole. Cuthbert told me about it. They said it was stolen. And melted down, I know. Mother told me. 
They also said it was my father who did it. Did they? So he's innocent then? Well, let's Must unhang him then. And whoever hid the chalice is responsible for his death. They hanged him in Shiring for stealing this chalice. But it was here all along. That scourge, the whip. Oh, I was freaking Remedius. Oh. Prior James. I was afraid of it when I first visited Kingsbridge with Francis and Abbot Peter. Even the look of it scared me. James. Maybe it was him. I think I saw him during the night of the fire in the cathedral. When the old cathedral burned down, there was a man in the fire. His shoulders were bloody, as if he had chastised oh, himself. Oh, they thought he had drowned himself. It is you, by God and the devil. He told me that he had sinned, that he had done something to me. Perhaps because I looked like my father. Oh. So he confessed for framing your father while well, he hid the cup here. But it couldn't have been James, you saw. James died weeks before the fire. Did he? You said they never found his body. Maybe he hid down here. Maybe that's why the bed's here. Wait. Jack, you were in the burning cathedral. What were you doing there? Burning it. I'm confessing. I... And then I told Philip what I'd done. He just looked at me. He didn't say anything. Prior James' is Scourge. Prior James' is Scourge, found by Philip 1154. As a child, Philip was afraid of Prior James' scourge. He first saw it when he and Abbot Peter, the man who raised him and Francis after the parents were killed, visited Kingsbridge. Years later, James decided that Philip, now a young man, should get the chance to lead his own priory cell, St. John of the Forest. Every time Philip visit, uh, visited, probably supposed to be visited, the, mother's the mother house at Kingsbridge, he always remembered the day he first saw the Scourge. Abbot Peter did not like the idea that pain could lead to salvation, but Prior James believed that chastising oneself was the only way to cleanse the soul of sinful implications of the flesh. After Jack told Philip, he believed Prior James was alive the day the cathedral burned down. Philip rem remembered, only, uh, remembered that only weeks before... Again, more misspelling, before... The choir did not dare to sing, because they thought they had heard some, chasti uh, some chastising himself in the crypt. Wow, they, um, they need to fix some of this a little bit. Maybe they really did hear James. Maybe James did hide the secret room in the crypt, but why? Meanwhile in Earl's castle. Wailerin, what do you want? Do you think it is wise to resign yourself to gluttony at times like these, while your people starve on the streets of Shiring? Shut up and give me that hand. Don't play the saint. You promise them miracles, and you make them pay. But your miracles never work out, do they? Oop. God works in ways that we cannot comprehend. My mother cannot walk. You failed. Again. What do you want? Another payment of 1995, plus shipping and handling. The Bible, again. No. Philip of Gwyneth wrote it. And the church is displeased. Bishop Henry was enraged. This is our chance, William. Your chance, you mean. If you need forces, talk to Walter or Ugly. I don't care. 
I built your fucking cathedral. I'm done. Now give me more chicken. It's not just about Philip. It's about Aliena and her family. Don't mention that name. But have you not heard? King Stephen and Maud's son just signed a peace treaty. I don't care. Wow, why is this uncomfortable right now? You should care. I said I don't. But you should. Now leave and don't come back unless I ask for you. <laughs> Where's my wife? They've not returned yet, Lord William. Then get me a whore. Now! Then give me another one while I'm waiting. Okay, the end of the war. The end of the war and the Treaty of Wellenford, 1154. After over 15 years of civil war, the battle between Stephen and Maud, or the battle before Stephen and Maud, England was more divided than ever. After a final confrontation at Wallingford, Empress Maud's son Henry II and Stephen arranged a truce. The treaty was later signed in Winchester and Westminster. According to the treaty, Stephen will remain king until his death, and then will be succeeded by Henry II. The treaty further states that all decisions regarding land, which were made during Stephen's reign, are immediately reverted and restored to the time of King Henry I. That, uh, this means the earldom of Shiring again belongs to the heirs of Bartholomew, and not to the Hamleys. But who would dare to go against William Hamley? At the same time, far away. find some shelter. Safety. Let's enter the hut. Let's see what's going on in here. I am sorry for intruding, but I must ask you for shelter. I was on my way from the Fleece Fair in Winchester to Kingsbridge and got caught in the storm. Nasty, isn't it? Yes. A and it's getting worse and worse. Thank you for your hospitality. Yeah, we are helping whoever that is. Please! I need help! The scream's coming from outside. Someone's crying. Why isn't anyone doing something? <laughs> are those rocks? I can barely see. Hello? Oh, oh dear, are you hurt? My horse, it fell. I, I, I can't move. Take my hand. We'll get you inside. All right, we protected her. 
Uh, we'll only be here until it's safe to leave. We won't bother you. I'm Aliena. What's your name? Elizabeth. Breathe, Elizabeth. You're safe oh, now. Oh, is she the the wife of uh, mm -hmm. what's his name? The uh, Should have let her die. We would all be better off without someone like her. Observing us. Should watch my words. Let's talk to her. I hope the storm spares your homes and fields. If only we had that much left. We still have our lives. And our dignity. Uh. You still have yours. <laughs> <laughs> Seems calm. I, like this. I wonder if the old and brittle Hold will get through. Horses. We'll see what happens. She's avoiding eye contact. Let's talk to Elizabeth. Uh, let's find something to warm her. A used blanket. Threadbare but warm. Hey, what are you going to do with that? I'm just going to borrow it. Let's try to get along until the storm passes. Okay. I'm good with that. What are you doing now? Here, have the blanket. Thank you. Hey, that's our blanket. Can't you see she's freezing? It's all right. It's just a blanket. Find her something to eat. I don't know. I think she's freezing. Smoked pieces of meat. Could be old, but nourishing. Maybe we should be a rare sight during a famine. No, they don't deserve There's soup in the pot. Looks rather thin. Is there a hoof in there? We don't have much, but always enough for a lost soul. She doesn't deserve anything. Take a bowl and go ahead. Thank you, old lady. Just try to ignore it. I am. Yeah, let's go take a bowl. I can't carry it in my bare hands. It's true. Talk to the rugged peasant. Oh, there's a ball on the table. You should get out of this place as soon as you can. Be assured, I will leave as soon as the storm ceases. Let's grab a ball. Get some soup. Josh, let her eat. Uh, thank you. Let's give Elizabeth the soup. Eat this. You must be hungry. Thank you. That's nice of you. Hey. What Everybody gets one. Soup. Dirt. That's what she deserves for dinner. What? Do you want her to starve? Please, don't start a fight. Yeah, she is totally the, the wife of... Uh, oh, what's so his face? Kind. Many people would have let me die. People don't listen to me. My entourage didn't even notice they lost me. Who? My husband and his entourage. Oh, a fine husband you have. I divorced my last one for less than that. Divorced? 
Oh, he's just been beside himself ever since his mother. Maybe now you'll understand what loss feels like. And what you people are doing to us. Stop bullying her. Can't you see she's upset? <laughs> How do they know you? This isn't right. Oh, I'm used to it. I guess that's how it is when your husband holds an office like that. Yeah, it is absolutely. He has They're to not do even a lot lying. Of people don't like. Tiptoeing around it. And sometimes they recognize me too. Wait. Is your husband the Earl of Shiring? Is your husband the Earl of Shiring? I thought you knew. William Hamley. Oh, please don't abandon me too. I'm not gonna abandon her. I, I swear, I'm not. I, I, I can't. Uh, why did you marry him? I used to know him when I was a girl. Really? Why did you marry him? My parents arranged it. And it was an honor to be picked. At first. What's he like now? I but loathe him with all my heart. Join the club. How do you know him? Uh, be diplomatic. We came from noble families. In fact, I was supposed to marry him at one point. No! How come you didn't? I found him unbearable. Well, yeah. So I refused. Y you refused him? It caused a lot of misery. You're, you're so courageous. I wish I was like you. I, I can't even stand up to the servants. Don't act like you didn't have a hand in the downfall of this land. For years, he roamed across the country to raid, rape, and kill. I'm sorry. He's no Earl. He's not. They After took all, it away he's from taken him. from us. We should take something from him, too. <gasps> she has nothing to do with this. Don't you dare touch her. Can't you see? She's another one of his victims. I'll give over. She's in on it too. Can you even imagine how it must be to be a child married to Hamley? I wouldn't wish that on anybody. The abuse. And the humiliation. Every single day. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm crying because you know too much enough to know your pain you know too much I just I just don't know what to do anymore Tom where the hell am I supposed to tether this hole <gasps> it's Walter he's looking for me come with me to Kingsbridge come with me to Kingsbridge People will take care of you there. That should do it. Walter. You. I've not seen you in a long time. Oh. William would be very pleased if I brought him your head. You are not taking no. that. Don't harm her. If it wasn't for her, I'd be dead. She saved me from the storm. Did she now? Come on, we have to get back to the castle. We've lost too much time already. The girl stays with me. Elizabeth stays with me. No, she doesn't. Thank you for saving me and protecting me from these people. Come on now, we need to get going. William is waiting. William's wife. About William's wife. Know from Aliena, 1154. 
Was it my rejection that bittered William to the prospect of marriage for the years that followed? Was I the reason he married so late? After I met Elizabeth, I later found out that she was the daughter of Harold of Weymouth, a wealthy knight and supporter of Stephen. Elizabeth was only fourteen at the time of the wedding. Bishop Whaler and wed them at the Cathedral of Shiring, and everyone of importance was invited to the large feast. Elizabeth is a gentle girl who probably felt honored to be chosen to be become the Earl's wife. I dare not imagine how William treated her. One more re reason to finally put an end to all this. Okay, that's another chapter down. Four more to go.